How is it that he sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Get thee behind me, Satan, get thee hence, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. What seek ye? Come and see. Thou art Simon the son of Jonah, thou shalt be called Cephas. Follow me. Behold an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Before that Philip called thee, when thou wert under the fig tree, I saw thee. Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. Fill the water pots with water. Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth, so is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said, How can these things be? Jesus answered, Art thou a master of Israel? and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe, if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Pilchosine, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Pilchosine, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent out his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Pilchosine, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Give me to drink. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, Give me to drink, thou would dare have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Go, call thy husband, and come hither. Thou hast well said, I have no husband, for thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband, in that sayest thou truly. Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. Ye worship ye know not what, we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I that speak unto thee am he. I have meat to eat that ye know not of. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathereth fruit unto life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one soweth, and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereon he bestowed no labor, other men labored, and ye are entered into their labor. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. Go thy way, thy son liveth. Wilt thou be made whole? Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he saith the Father do, for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, 
and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will shew him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. For as the Father riseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judged no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Pilko sign, there is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. He sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and we were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Pilko sign, but I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father who hath sent me, and the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Pilko sign, search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. Page 21 I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not, if another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe, which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself, whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Zarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias the prophet, and none of them was cleansed, saving not Ammon the Syrian. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Follow me. Hold thy peace, and come out of him. I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, for therefore came I forth. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. Rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Pilko sign, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out, 
and to be trodden under a foot of man. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle, and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Pilcro sign, think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Pilcro sign, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way, first be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence, till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. Pilcro sign, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And if I write I offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee, for tea is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced committeth adultery. Asterisk, Pilcro sign again, Ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But let your communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Pilcro sign, ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from him that would borrow of thee turn not thou away. Pilcro sign, ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Dagger, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so? Take heed that ye do not your alms before men, to be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a page twenty-six trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy Father which saith in secret himself shall reward thee openly. Pilcro sign, and when thou prayest, Thou shalt not be as the high priests are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, 
they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which saith in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Pilcro sign. Moreover when ye fast, be ye not, as the hypocrites, of a sad countenance. For they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which saith in secret, shall reward thee openly. Pilcro sign lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Pilcro sign, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one, and despise the other. He cannot serve God in mammon. Page 27 Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what he shall eat, or what he shall drink, nor yet for your body, what he shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubic unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin, and yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow was cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, Wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge? ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and, behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Pilcro sign, give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Pilcro sign, ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Page 28 Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If he then, being evil, Know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Pilcro sign asterisk therefore all things whatsoever he would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life 
and few there be that find it. Pilkos I'm beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Pilchosine, not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Pilchosine, therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. I will, be thou clean. See thou tell no man, but go thy way, say nothing to any man. Shew thyself to the priest, and offer the gift for thy cleansing, those things which Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draft. Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. What reason thee in your hearts? Why reason ye these things? Wherefore think ye evil? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy couch, and go thy way into thine house. Follow me. They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy, and not sacrifice. Double dagger, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast, while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth upon an old garment, else the new piece that filleth it up a grief not with the old, it taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, asterisk else the bottles will be marred, the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he saith, the old is better. Have ye never read so much as this, what David did, when himself was a-hungered, and had need, he, and they which were with him, how he went into the house of God in the days of Abiathar the high priest, and did take and eat the shoe bread, and gave also to them which were with him, which was not lawful for him to eat, neither for them which were with him, but for the priests alone? Or have ye not read in the law, how that on the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath, and are blameless? But I say unto you, that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if he had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy, and not sacrifice, he would not have condemned the guiltless. The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Rise up, and stand forth in the midst. I will ask you one thing, is it lawful on the Sabbath days to do good, or to do evil? To save life, or to kill? To save life, or to destroy it? What man shall there be among you, that shall have one sheep, and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, will he not lay hold on it, and lift it out? How much then is a man better than a sheep? Wherefore it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath days. Stretch forth thine hand. How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself, and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end, 
No man can enter into a strong man's house, and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewithsoever they shall blaspheme, but he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and finding none, he saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye, when men shall have you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Before ye in that day, and leap for joy, for, behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Pilchosine, but I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods ask them not again. Asterisk and as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners, to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not both fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thine eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, cast out first the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. For a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit, neither doth a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Page 36 For every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather the grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil, for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Pilchosine, and why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me, and heareth my sayings, and doeth them, I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house, and dig deep, and laid the foundation on a rock, and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house, and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. But he that heareth, and doeth not, is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth, against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. I will come and heal him. Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Weep not. Young man, I say unto thee, arise. Go your way, 
and tell John again what things he have seen and heard, how that the blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them, and blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. What went he out into the wilderness for to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went he out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing, they which are gorgeously apparelled, and live delicately, are in king's courts, in king's houses. But what went he out for to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and much more than the prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily, I say unto you, among them that are born of women there hath not risen a greater prophet than John the Baptist, notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling unto their fellows, one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced, we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented, ye have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And they say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking. And they say, Behold a man gluttonous and a wine river, a friend of publicans and sinners. Woe unto thee, Cherzin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works, which were done in you, had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the day of judgment, than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works, which have been done in thee, had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment, than for thee. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, but the Father, neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Pilchosin, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee, there was a certain creditor which had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? Thou hast rightly judged. Sayest thou this woman? I entered into thine house, thou gave me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gave me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, Her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loveth much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Thy sins are forgiven. Thy faith hath saved thee, go in peace. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself falleth, it shall not stand, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils by the Spirit of God, no doubt then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house? and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace, but when a stronger than he shall come upon him, and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor wherein he trusted, 
and divideth the spoils. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Pilchosine, wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost is in danger of eternal damnation, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Either make the tree good, and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt, for the tree is known by his fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and, behold, a greater than Jonas is here. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and, behold, a greater than Solomon is here. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? Behold my mother and my brethren. My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God, and do it. For whosoever shall do the will of God my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, and my sister, and mother. Hearken, behold, a sower went forth to sow his seed, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Some seed fell on stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had not much deepness of earth. But when the sun was up, because it had no depth of earth, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell upon a rock, as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up with it, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. But other fell into a good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up, and increased, and bare fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given but in parables, unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Asterisk for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, Dagger, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive, for this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them, and their sins should be forgiven them. Double dagger, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hearth those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? Pilchosine, hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The sower soweth the word. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom, 
and understand that it not, then cometh immediately Satan the wicked one, and catcheth away that word, which was sown in his heart, the devil taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. This is he which receives seed by the wayside, where the word is sown. They on the rock receive seed into stony places. These are they who in they have heard the word, anon with joy receive it, and for a while believe, yet have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time, and in time of temptation fall away. For afterward, when affliction or tribulation or persecution are reset for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Asterisk and they which received the seed among thorns, are they, which, when they have heard the word, go forth, and are choked with the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the page 45 pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection, the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. But he that received the seed into the good ground is he that in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, understandeth it, and keepeth it, and beareth fruit with patience, and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat, and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tars also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tars? Pilchosine, he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while he gather up the tars, he root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tars, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel, or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? No man. When he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For there is nothing hid, neither was anything kept secret, which shall not be manifested, but that it should be known and come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what he hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath, to him shall be given, and he that hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep, and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? Behold my mother and my brethren. My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God, and do it. For whosoever shall do the will of God my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, and my sister, and mother. Hearken, behold, a sower went forth to sow his seed, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Some seed fell on stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had not much deepness of earth. But when the sun was up, because it had no depth of earth, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. Page 47 And some fell upon a rock, as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up with it, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. But other fell into a good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up, and increased, and bare fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given but in parables, unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Asterisk for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance, but whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, Dagger, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, 
and should be converted, and I should heal them, and their sins should be forgiven them. Double dagger. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hearth those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? Pilko sign carry therefore the parable of the sower. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The sower soweth the word. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh immediately Satan the wicked one, and catcheth away that word, which was sown in his heart. The devil taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. This is he which receives seed by the wayside, where the word is sown. Page 48 They on the rock receive seed into stony places. These are they who when they have heard the word, anon with joy receive it, and for a while believe, yet have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time, and in time of temptation fall away. For afterward, when affliction or tribulation or persecution are reset for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. Asterisk and they which received the seed among thorns, are they, which, when they have heard the word, go forth, and are choked with the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection, the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. But he that received the seed into the good ground is he that in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, understandeth it, and keepeth it, and beareth fruit with patience, and bringeth forth, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while man slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat, and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tars also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tars? Pilkosine, he said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tars, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tars, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel, or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? No man. When he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For there is nothing hid, neither was anything kept secret, which shall not be manifested, but that it should be known and come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what he hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath, to him shall be given, and he that hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he hath. So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep, and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? A grain of mustard seed is the least of all seeds, is indeed less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown in the earth, it groweth up, it becometh greater than all herbs, it shooteth out great branches, and becometh a tree, so that the fowls of the air come and lodge in the branches thereof. Unto what is the kingdom of God like? And whereunto shall I resemble it? The kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and cast into a garden in his field, and it grew, and waxed a great tree, and the birds of the air lodged in the branches thereof, in the shadow of it. Whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God? The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took, and hid in three measures of meal, till the whole was leavened. He that soweth the good seed is the son of man, the field is the world. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, 
but the Tars are the children of the wicked one, the enemy that sowed them is the devil, the harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the Tars are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Pilcro sign again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hath, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Pilcro sign again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchantman, seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had, and bought it. Pilcro sign again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net, that was cast into the sea, and gathered of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew it to shore, and sat down, and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world, the angels shall come forth, and sever the wicked from the just, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire, there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Have ye understood all these things? Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven, is like unto a man that is a householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. Let us pass over unto the other side of the lake. Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Peace, be still. Why are ye fearful? Where is your faith? How is it that ye have no faith? Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. What is thy name? Return to thine own house. Go home to thy friends. Tell them how the Lord had compassion on thee, and shew them how great things God hath done unto thee. Be not afraid, only believe. Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. Why make thee this ado, and weep? Weep not. Give place. The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Maid, arise. Who touched me? Somebody hath touched me for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. Who touched my clothes? Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Believe ye that I am able to do this? According to your faith be it unto you. See that no man know it. A prophet is not without honor, save in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few, Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Take nothing for your journey, neither staves asterisk nor bread. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor scrip for your journey, neither two coats apiece, nor yet shoes, but be shod with sandals, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, in what place soever ye enter into a house, inquire who in it is worthy, and thereby till ye go, and thence depart. And when ye come into a house, salute it. Dagger, and if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment, than for that city. Pilcro sign, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. But beware of men. For they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another, for verily I say unto you, 
ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel, till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not therefore. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. What I tell you in darkness that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not therefore. Ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross, and followeth after me, is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Pilchosine, he that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Page 57 And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while. Whence shall we buy bread, that these may eat? They need not depart, give ye them to eat. How many loaves have ye? Go and see. Bring them hither to me. Make the men sit down by fifties in a company. Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Come. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me. Not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves, and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven, and giveth life unto the world. I am the bread of life, he that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which saith the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness, and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof, and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh, 
and drinketh my blood, dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Doth this offend you? What and if he shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not. Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my Father. Will he also go away? Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your tradition. For God commanded, saying, Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and, whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, If a man shall say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is Corbin, that is to say, a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, and honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free, and he suffer him no more to do aught for his father or his mother, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Well hath Elias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people draw eighth night unto me with their mouth, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. E hypocrites! For, laying aside the commandment of God, e hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other like things e do. Hearken unto me every one of you. Hear, and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man. There is nothing from without a man, that entering into him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Are ye also yet so without understanding? Do not ye yet perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into a man, entereth in at the mouth, goeth into the belly, and is cast out into the draught, purging all meats? It entereth not into his heart, it cannot defile him. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, false witness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemies, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within, and these are the things which defile the man. But to eat with unwish and hands defileth not a man. I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread, and to cast it unto the dogs. O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. For the saying go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. Be opened. I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now been with me three days, and have nothing to eat, and if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way. I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. How many loaves have ye? Why doth this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, there shall no sign be given unto this generation. When it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O oh, ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern signs of the times? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees, and of the leaven of Herod. O oh, ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves, because ye have brought no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand? Have ye your heart yet hardened? Having eyes, see ye not? And having ears, hear ye not? And do ye not remember? Do ye not understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? When I break the five loaves among the five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees?
Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Whom say the people that I am? But whom say ye that I am? Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed I unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, double dagger, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be slain, and be raised the third day. Get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense asterisk unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. If any man will come after me, whosoever will, let him deny himself, and take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man, what is a man advantaged, if he gain the whole world, and lose himself, lose his own soul? Or be cast away? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words, in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he shall come in his own glory, and cometh in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. Arise, and be not afraid. Tell the vision to no man, until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Elias verily cometh first, and restoreth all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things, and be set at naught. But I say unto you, that Elias is indeed come already, and they knew him not, and they have done unto him whatsoever they listed, as it is written of him. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. What question ye with them? O oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring thy son hither to me. How long is it ago since this came unto him? If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be betrayed, and delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him and the third day after that he is killed, he shall be raised again. What was it that he disputed among yourselves by the way? If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all. Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receiveth me, whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receiveth me, and whosoever shall receive me, receiveth me not, but him that sent me, for he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute, of their own children, or of strangers? Then are the children free. Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name, that can lightly speak evil of me, for he that is not against us is for us, is on our part. For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because he belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were cast into the sea. And if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life maimed, than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their worm deeth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter halt into life, than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their worm deeth not, and the fire is not quenched. And if I nigh offend thee, pluck it out. It is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire, where their worm deeth not, and the fire is not quenched. Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children, he shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, 
and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Pilkosine, woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off, and cast them from thee, it is better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out, and cast it from thee, it is better for thee to enter into life with one eye, rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye? If a man have a hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep, than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if you will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Dagger, again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. I say not unto thee, until seven times, but, until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But forasmuch as he had not to pay, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down, and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me and I will pay thee all. Then the lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him a hundred pence, and he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou knowest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry, and came and told unto their lord all that was done. Then his lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desiredst me. Should I not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him. The same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers, and ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me, because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am, and I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Yet a little while am I with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, thither ye cannot come. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. 
Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? Neither do I condemn thee, go, and sin no more. I am the light of the world, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I came, and whither I go, but he cannot tell whence I come, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. Page 78 It is also written in your law, that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Ye neither know me, nor my Father, if ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins, whither I go, ye cannot come. Ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world. I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you, but he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things, and he that sent me is with me, the Father who hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Page 79 I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. If God were your father, he would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words, ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me, and I seek not mine own glory, there is one that seeketh and judge it. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. If I honor myself, my honor is nothing, it is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say, that he is your God, yet ye have not known him, but I know him, and if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you, but I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Verily, verily I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day. The night cometh, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. Dost thou believe on the Son of God? Thou hast both seen him, and it is he that talketh with thee. For judgment I am come into this world, that they which see not might see, and that they which see might be made blind. If he were blind, he should have no sin, but now he say, We see, therefore your sin remaineth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, page 82 and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, 
for they know not the voice of strangers. Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, saith the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. I told you, and ye believed not, the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Many good works have I shewed you for my father, for which of those works do ye stone me? Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him, whom the father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest? Because I said, I am the son of God, if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, Believe the works, that ye may know, and believe, that the Father is in me, and I in him. Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Follow me. Let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God. No man, having put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Asterisk go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again, and in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house, and into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you, and heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, even the very dust of your city, which gleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding, be sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom, than for that city. Dagger, woe unto thee, Cherzin! Woe unto thee, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment, than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shalt be thrust down to hell. He that heareth you heareth me, and he that disposseth you disposseth me, and he that disposseth me disposseth him that sent me. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, 
that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. What is written in the law? How readest thou? Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three, thinkest thou, was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves? Go, and do thou likewise. When we pray, say, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so on earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him, and he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed, I cannot rise and give thee. Page 87 I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you, Seek, and he shall find, Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or, if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Yea, rather, Blessed are they that hear the word of God, and keep it. This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. For as Jonas was a sign unto the nine vites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and condemn them. For she came from the utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and, behold, a greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation, and shall condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonas, and, behold, a greater than Jonas is here. No man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye, therefore when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light, but when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed therefore that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. Now do we Pharisees make clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Ye fools, did not he that made that which is without, make that page 88 which is within also, but rather give alms of such things as ye have, and, behold, all things are clean unto you. But woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye tithe mint and rue and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Woe unto you also, ye lawyers! For ye laid men with burdens grievous to be borne, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers.
Woe unto you, for we build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allow the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple. Verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe unto you, lawyers! For ye have taken away the key of knowledge, ye entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in ye hindered. Be wary of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. For there is nothing covered, that shall not be revealed, neither hid, that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear and closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you my friend, be not afraid of them that kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear, fear him, which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? and not one of them is forgotten before God, but even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Fear not therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man also confess before the angels of God, but he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him, but unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost it shall not be forgiven. And when they bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates, and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer, or what ye shall say, for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? Take heed, and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This will I do, I will pull down my barns, and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, then whose shall those things be, which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body, what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies how they grow. They toil not, they spin not, and yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? O ye of little faith, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. Pilcro sign, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about, and your lights burning, and be yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately.